We're now going to take a look at how to center content on a web page. And what I want to do is work with my Dreamweaver template file to do this. If I open up this file, and instead of going out to the Files panel to open it, it is possible to open it directly through this templates area within your assets. So I'm going to do it that way. The more you can work with your templates within this area, the less likely you are to accidentally move things around within that templates folder in your site files. So I'm going to right click this inner content. This is my template I want to open. And when I right click, you can see I do get an edit option. So this is one way to edit, or I can always go down to the pencil at the bottom right hand corner of this panel. So I'll choose edit. You can see that opens up my DWT file for me. And what we're going to do is make some edits to this page. Right now, this page is not set up to center or be centered in the browser. So this is my template file. If I preview it here in the browser and I go to move this, you can see how my content does stay somewhat centered on the page. But what if I didn't want this orange area to go all the way across? What I can do is just make sure that it stays centered at a specific width. And I want to show you how to do that. And then we can decide if we want to keep the template that way or if we want to go back to having that orange bar spread all the way across in the browser. Now, in order to work with this, I need to work in CSS styles. And right now, I have a slightly different style sheet attached to this template page. This is styles-inner. And this is the style sheet for the inner pages of our website. And if I look at this, I'm going to double-click Assets to close it up. Here are all the styles for this page. Now, notice all of my IDs. IDs begin with the pound sign, are listed first. And this is how I normally organize my styles in the Styles panel. You can click and drag to place these in order. And what I tend to do is put them in the sequence they are on the page in the code. IDs first, then I add my HTML tags, which don't have a dot or a pound, and then my classes go at the bottom. What this allows me to do is locate some of these particular selectors when I need to modify something a little bit easier. Completely up to you, but I tend to find that I can speed things up if I keep this organized. Now notice I don't have any outer wrapper layer for this page. So what I want to do is create an outer wrapper box that's going to contain all my content and that way I can take that box and keep it centered in the browser. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add a wrapper ID to this page. And in order to do that and surround all the content on the page, let me open up the properties area just so you can see this a little bit easier. I'm going to click the body tag. Now I know the body tag contains all the content on the page, so that's the fastest way to select everything. I know I've got all of the code for the page. If I just do a Control or Command A or an Edit Select All, sometimes you can miss pieces of code. Since we're in Dreamweaver, this will make sure we always get the exact correct code. So think of the body tag as your Select All in Dreamweaver Design View. Now that I have that selected, I'm going to go up to the Layout tab and click the very first icon. Insert Div Tag. This is going to put a Div Tag surrounding all of my content on the page. Since I have it all selected, when I click the Div, notice what I get. Wrap Around Selection, which is exactly what I want. If I didn't have anything selected on the page, this option would not show. So wrap around selection, and I'm going to create my new wrapper layer. Now I'll go ahead and create a new ID here. 
This ID is going to be called wrapper. I'm going to add it to my styles inner.css file and click OK. Now it's a matter of assigning those properties for this specific ID. So the first one I want to assign is a width. You must have a width assigned to your box that you want to center in the browser window. If the browser doesn't understand the width of a box, it can't keep that box centered within the width of the browser. So I'm going to set this. Now what width should I choose? Notice down here, the width that I have Dreamweaver set up right now is 1024 by 360. And if I move this, you can see that's a pretty good size. I think what I'm going to do is set my width to 1000. Because subtracting 24 pixels is just fine from this, and I'll just keep it an even 1000. No real reason for that, other than I don't need it exactly 1024 anyway. Scroll bars tend to take up a little bit of space, so this will allow for some of that. Now, I need a width in order to center. The other thing I need is a margin, and the margin I choose is auto. Now, I really only need this margin set up for the right and left. So I'm going to uncheck same for all. In the right, I'm going to choose auto. In the left, I'm going to choose auto. So I've assigned a width, that's step number one, to my box. Step number two, it needs a right and left auto. Now step number three is only needed if you're using absolute positioned elements on the page. If I was using absolute positioned elements, what I would need to do is come in here and make sure this says relative. I have no absolute positioned elements on the page, so I don't need to do that step. So I need a width assigned, I need a margin of left and right auto, and then it's up to me if I need positioning or not, depending upon if there's any content inside that wrapper layer or on your page now that has absolute positioning, the wrapper must be set to relative. If there isn't, you don't even need to bother with that. So I'm going to click OK. Wrapper drops in. I'll click OK here. You could see my page pulled in just a little bit and let's put it in the browser and test it out. Now notice when I save this template file, I have three files based on this. Now my destinations and specials needs to be applied to the template. And that was not done in an earlier lesson by me, so I need to make sure that I do that. And this is my nice reminder about that. So I'll click Update. Notice all three files were looked at and updated. Now this is the thing that can catch you. Notice if I go to my CSS file, it has not been saved. So if I go to preview this in the browser, that's this message here. That's what this means. Dreamweaver is prompting you saying you changed the CSS file, have not saved it yet. So when it says some files needed to accurately preview, that's usually what it's referencing is your style sheet. I will say save them now, yes. You can see the save went away on my style sheet. Here is my page and whatever browser window size I make, you can see it stays nicely centered. Now there comes a point when it can't shrink any longer right there. And I'll deal with that when I look at my uh, tablet and mobile size for the browser. But for now, we just made that work perfectly. Let me check that, and I do have another update to do here. Let me click Update, and it's going to go out and test my files. So I'll go ahead and close that one, say yes. Now here is my update, and this is a little glitch I've started noticing in updating template files in Dreamweaver CS6. Not the Creative Cloud version, but the DVD version. I do once in a while get multiple 
options for this. Just keep clicking updating and they should go away just like that. So if you happen to see those and another extra one or two pop up, just click update and it'll close itself out. What I want to do is put this into Internet Explorer. And I want you to see that even though this is a very old version of Internet Explorer, you can see my page is moving just a little bit. When I click on the page, it's not quite centered perfectly. So some subtle little differences in IE8. If I put this into Internet Explorer or IE9, I would have no issues. So just be aware you want to be testing. Here's my update once again. And notice it just kind of sits here for a second. Now I know I've already updated this a couple of times, so I'm going to close. I'll click update here and close that up. Okay, so that is updating our site, putting it into a centered browser. Now I've decided I don't really want this look. What it does is it prevents that orange bar from going all the way across. So what I'm going to do is delete that wrapper. And the wrapper is right here. I had this rule selected, so it placed it there. It always goes into any new rule goes into right below whatever you have selected. I didn't worry about it because I'm not going to use this anyway. Now to delete an ID, I simply select it and click the trash can in the CSS styles panel. And now you can see my orange bar goes all the way across. Let me do a save all. I'll go ahead and update. Notice nothing was updated because all I did was modify the CSS file. I did not modify the pages themselves. So I'll close, put this back in the browser. I'll put it back in Internet Explorer. And I think that method looks a little bit nicer, keeping this all the way across and letting this adjust just a little bit. Notice now I have no issues in Internet Explorer. It's adjusting just fine. So that is how you can, I will stop and I'll go through that same process once more. Close. There we are. Just a little glitch in Dreamweaver. I purposely did not do any updates to this version of Dreamweaver so that it would be the basic default version. And updates, I'm sure, have corrected that issue. But I wanted you to see some of the things that can happen with the default Dreamweaver view. So we just took a look at how to center content within the browser if you wish to. We also learned how to delete an ID from the CSS Styles panel if you decide that isn't what you want to do. To center content in the browser, you create the outer box by selecting the body tag. You create a new style rule for that box. It must have a width assigned. You set left and right margin to auto and you only need the third piece if there's any absolute positioned elements on the page. If there are absolute positioned elements, set your position for that outer box to relative and you will have nicely centered page content in the browser. Even going back to older versions, that's usually very effective. So that is how you center page content in the browser using Dreamweaver. Thank you for watching educator.com. See you in the next lesson.